Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a new boot manager for Ubuntu. So you can change your Plymouth boot screen and the Grub boot screen. I've done this in VirtualBox. Install instructions are in the description below. Just add a repository and one program. And it's got a lot of packages in there. This is it, Super Boot Manager. So it also comes with this new generation style Grub screen, Berg Manager. I did read, what it, did read what it stood for earlier, um, I've just forgotten though. It's terrible, isn't it? So you get the option to install it. Um, this is the best bit, you can put all these themes on there. So nice, so you can see the different sort of selection you get, the big icon with the system, so Ubuntu, Windows, Unknown. Yeah, so they look pretty cool. Quickly scroll down, see what we get. Yeah, all very nice, very nice. We've also got the option there to remove it if you don't like it anymore. Let's close that. Look at the Grub Manager because you can still put pictures on Grub. Not quite as fancy as Berg by the look of it, but nevertheless, you still can. Right, a Grub bootloader would already be installed. No need to do that. Uh, so Parameters on there, styling. I right, just select the image to use as a background, um, choose the text colours. So that's all good. It is a good bit though, Plymouth Manager. Right, edit Plymouth. Tutorials. Now, uh, we should be looking at these tutorials first. There are some instructions here. Better bet read that. Um, John makes sense of it. You have to add a couple of command lines if you want to use the Plymouth boot screens in a fancy way. Uh, this is it because of the proprietary drivers tends to muck up the resolution, so it's a way of getting that back. Certainly the Nvidia cards have a habit of mucking up the resolution. But these are the themes you can have. So yeah, quite a nice selection. Just yeah, scroll down here. The old Windows boot screen. You can if you want. It makes it look, look more like Windows. Trick people with it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is Windows. Absolutely. <laughs> Tux dancer. Let's try it out. So we just go for. What do we have? Should we have a bit of a simple one. Um, yeah, let's go for that one. So it's getting me double click on them. It goes and downloads it from the repository that you would have added earlier. Uh, yes, I want to continue. No, oh, system program problem, cancel. Let's just try another, another of these boot screens. Maybe there'll be a problem with that one that I chose. That looks pretty fancy. What about that one? Yeah. Hmm, seems to get error messages there. Return to error exit status 2. I wonder why. Right, one more time, set a default theme. Oh, it's there now. So, let's go for that. So, press number one, that's DM Ubuntu. Apply changes. Right, then preview default theme. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Just press escape to get out of that. Let's close it, reboot, and see what it looks like. And see if it works, because it doesn't always work in VirtualBox. Oh, there it is, shutting down. Bet it didn't work booting up. It's probably more a virtual box issue that it is hit and miss whether they'll show you know, or not. And I don't know if you saw the video about me doing that unboxing of the solid state disk. You see, I can't really use it on my main system because it boots so quick, I don't even get the Plymouth boot screen. Probably good for my netbook if I wanted it though. But yeah, anyway, there's the program. Try it out, have a play around, customise Ubuntu how you want it. And thanks for watching, see you later.